Okay. Hey, Bucks and Vens, let's get into some news. Samuel Peter was named the WDC interim champ and, of course, kept his belt. And now, uh, Darnell Dingling Man Wilson, uh, Cruiserweight, had a couple good recent wins here. He. Knockout of the year. Yeah. That <laughs> Man. And he uh, calls out, he called out Enzo Macaronelli for the WBO Cruiserweight title. Macaronelli uh, has still been looking for an opponent for November 3rd. That'd be a good opponent. Yeah, definitely. Just, yeah, I'd, I'd be all for that. But they Wish they'd show, show it, it yeah, here. They need to, yeah. We'll be able to get it, but you might not. Yeah. Without going and downloading and, some yeah, stuff. Yeah, we won't see it live, so... Oh yeah, by the way, HBO Pay-Per-View will be distributing Jones vs. Trinidad after all. Yes, thankfully. Finally showing Jones some, some respect yeah. a little bit, but... Theoretically. Yeah. But, uh, so at, least, at least they're doing this, finally. Absolutely. And you know, also, um... Shane Mosley admits to using Valco product. Um, Valco, the Steroids. if you haven't heard of them, you don't watch any sports <laughs> news whatsoever. Absolutely. Anyhow, Valco, all the steroid scandal. He's he said he did use it briefly before the De La Hoya fight, the second De La Hoya fight, but he swears up and down he didn't know it has steroids. I really believe he yeah, didn't know it. Absolutely. I really believe all these guys, most yeah. of them. Barry Bonds, uh, Vargas, any, Mosley. It was, it was Balco. I remember seeing these ads around 2003. Yeah, which was that's when it was. I remember yeah. seeing ads for their product. I remember seeing people talking good about Balco yeah. and saying they had this great product line and everything. It was the trendy thing for athletes and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I don't think any of them know it had steroids in it, at least not most of them. Yeah, some of them might have, Maybe. but you know, who knows, but the ones... I mean, again, I stand with the belief that steroids are... Not good for boxing. Exactly, they're going to hurt you worse than they're going to help you in the ring, so, you know, they're going to make you tired faster. You're not going to be as fast. Did not, and Mosley so. did not look... He even said in the... In the um, in, the, in, the, in his comment yes. that he looked worse in the de, in that De La Hoya fight than he did in the first one. Yeah, definitely. And, and he, he didn't do nearly as well. He yep. did beat him, but he beat him better the first time, definitely. Yep. So. And he said he thinks possibly it hurt him some. So no doubt. I agree. Yes. Anyhow, uh, I know whenever I first watched the fight, it felt like De La Hoya won. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but anyhow, any, um, Margarito versus Golden Johnson Mo uh, on the Mosley Cotto pay per view, yes, November 10th. Undercard of that, the rest of the undercard, Joel Casamayor, no surprise here, fighting yeah. Jose Armando Santa Cruz. Yeah. That's been predicted for a while. Yeah, just yeah. official now, completely. Victor Ortiz versus Carlos Mausa. Yes. That'll be fun to watch. Yeah. Mausa get knocked around. Good step up for Ortiz. And Mausa does have a win over Harris somehow. But. Uh -huh. and, um, Great card there from top to bottom. Bobby so Pacquiao. Far. Maybe. Possibly. He'll be fighting, but he probably won't be shown if he is. So, uh, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, um, then... November 15th, Joshua Claudi versus Luis, Luis Colazzo is possible, possible. And for a versus card, that'll be a Thursday. Yeah. It's possible top rank won a purse bid. It was a low, low amount, like $35,000. Yeah. Um, neither fighter is really wanting that for that price. Oh, Colazzo already said he won't be taking that fight if it's at that price. So unless they renegotiate um, and give him some more money. Yeah, for one thing, that fight really, really doesn't belong on versus. I mean, that's fine if they put it on there, but that's a bigger fight than that. I, so I have to agree. That would be the best fight versus have, has ever put on by far since they've been showing fights, but... I mean, if it gets on there, fine, but I can see how they wouldn't be able to pay them the amount they would be looking for since it would be on there. And they both deserve to get more than they would yeah. fighting on there. Definitely. Colazzo said he'll probably be on the November 30, uh, 23rd fight with uh, Vargas yeah. Mayorga. Yeah. Um, maybe against Colazzo. Against Claudia. I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Now, also... Claudia's brother Emmanuel Claudia is going to be fighting Zab Judah. Yes, maybe. On November 17th. 17th. Probably. It's yeah. possible. I don't see why that'd be very hard to get made. No. 
Um, and that sets up a Joshua Claudi fight after Judah knocks out his brother Emmanuel. Yep. So. And Emmanuel just recently lost anyhow. Yeah, to Victor Ortiz. Yeah. So. Uh. <laughs>